everyone. Um, first of all, bear with me. Still do not have a voice. If you follow me on Instagram stories, this is like the never ending cold that has turned into this. Hopefully it'll sound cozy and sexy instead of like a weird frog. Anyway, um, so you've recently seen, uh, I did a cozy gift guide and I did a gift guide for teen boys, but now I, this could be a gift guide really, well, I did it for me. <laughs> this is my gift. These are my gifts to myself. I partnered with Nordstrom for this video. And as always, I am just thrilled that I'm able to bring this content to you and work with such an amazing brand like Nordstrom. I have been shopping there for forever and continue to shop and keep finding the coolest stuff. So I want to share a few things. I just full disclosure, bought these as gifts for myself, but many of these things can easily be gifts for other people that uh, you care about or for yourself as well. And stay tuned for the end because I gave myself a cozy little indulgence of this whole outfit that I want to talk about as well. It's just perfect for this time of year and it's really versatile whether you're running errands or going out, depending on what shoes you choose. So let's start with the first thing. I try to buy this for myself or talk someone into buying it for me every year. And these are the gift sets from Laura Mercier. Spe look at this box. This is new. I've never seen it come in a box this pretty before. Specifically, it's the Lux Indulgences. It's their um, Lux Body Collection. And I've talked about this before. I am obsessed with the Amber Vanilla Scent from the Laura Mercier Bath and Body Collection. So I did actually, I couldn't wait for the video. I actually did bust out the honey bath, but look at this. Oh, I mean, this is such an amazing gift set and they're really only available during the holidays. So snatch these up. It comes with the, um, well, whatever scent you like. Like I said, I chose Amber Vanilla because this one's my favorite and you've seen me talk about this before, but I've never had this before. This is the scented, the body wash in the Amber Vanilla. Then this is one of my all time favorites, their body cream. It's like a souffle kind of body cream. This I've already used, there's some missing. It's the Amber Vanilla Honey Bath and it comes with it, whoop, and it comes with this little, cute little like honey dis tool to dispense it, but I just poured it right into the bathtub. And then it also comes with a very hefty, I'd say travel size of the Amber Vanilla um, fragrance as well. In fact, I'm gonna put some on right now. I love this scent. <clears throat> What is, okay, yes, I've just covered myself in it, but it smells so good. There are other scents available. It was hard to pick, but I always come back to Amber. So that is there for you. This box is beautiful. Okay, another little gift I got for myself, and I think this actually would make a fabulous gift for anyone on your list who's a traveler or um, a girl going off to college or moving into an apartment with small space. And you may see this featured in a lot of videos soon. This, well, it comes in this case. This is the Spotlight HD, um, I think it's called the Joy, which stands for Just Own It, makeup mirror. So it comes in this neoprene case that yes, I've already gotten dirty because I had concealer on my fingers. It's this nice case, it has a Velcro closure. It's really thick and padded and here is, okay, this looks like nothing interesting. Here is the mirror. Um, when you open it, whoop, it's on, okay. You open it like, okay, so it lights up and then it has this little tray in it that you can either leave these things at home, but it comes with a little cloth to, you know, wipe it off. But it also comes with these, you know, it's a normal magnification, like just one to one. But then it also comes with these discs. This is a five times, obviously you can see I haven't used it, five times and 10 times magnification. And it just go right in the middle. So, wow. Okay, that's scary. Anyway, you can either keep them in here. If you're not some, if that's not something you're interested in using, you can, you know, keep some makeup. Put that when you're traveling, you, you know, you can set all your makeup in here. It's not gonna roll around the vanity. It charges, you, you can turn it on and off like you just saw me do with, there's a little switch here, little touch switch. And I just love it because boom, it folds up and it's super solid. So if you put this in the case in your suitcase, it's not gonna break and you charge it, where is it? With a little USB cord. So you can plug it into any kind of like, um, you know, phone brick, we call them, or into your computer if you're traveling with your computer. And the charge lasts quite a while. Actually, I pulled it out of the box and it was ready to go, but I did just charge this baby up. 
So let me show you something. Else. This is all from the beauty section. Like this is amazing that, I mean, I figured the bath stuff was in the beauty section, but the beauty section also has at Nordstrom like tons of just fun, random things like that makeup mirror. I think I'm going to use it for filming as you're going to see in a little bit because that light just really lights up my face for tutorials. This time of year, as you can hear, it's very dry. Your vote, you may lose your voice, your skin gets dry. So I've been trying out some new products, working on my skin a little bit. And um, one of the things I've talked about this before, and I didn't realize that Nordstrom carried it, so I ordered a refill, because I just used mine up, is they carry Paula's Choice. So I just, this has nothing to do with the video, but I placed it in the order that I placed for this video. It's the um, Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. It has licorice and salicylic acid in it. And I use this morning and night, and it has really faded any leftover blemish, like marks from blemishes, red marks, um, some hyperpigmentation. So just want to put that out there. If you didn't know Paula's Choice is at Nordstrom, it is. So you'll see the old container in an empties video soon. But then another thing about drying skin is concealer, especially for under eyes. And I have been doing some research and I found this guy. This is the RMS, I believe it's called the Uncover Up. Yes, it's a little pot, it's potted concealer. It's very creamy. It has coconut oil in it. Um, it was also recommended by Lisa Eldridge, so you know it's good. And what's really nice about this, I have it in the shade Double Zero, which is basically my exact skin tone. Maybe a, I don't even think it's any lighter. There is a Triple Zero, which is if I wanted it more for brightening, I would go down a shade. But this time of year, I really just want to be more natural and um, less brightened. So. I like that it's kind of all the same skin tone. And what's really nice about this concealer is that, I mean, obviously you can put it on with a finger or brush, whatever, but you can also sheer it out and use it all over your face. If you wanted a very lightweight coverage, if you're not big a big foundation person, this little tub right here can be used in a myriad of ways. So I use it, um, pat it right over. I did prep first with my MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose, and then I just patted this right over my eyes. I also use it as an eyeshadow base. It is creamy and emollient, so um, I definitely recommend setting it with your favorite under eye powder. I go back and forth between my new favorite, the Laura Mercier Secret um, Blurring Powder, or their Secret Brightening Powder, or sometimes I just set it with my Charlotte Tilbury press powder. So any of those will do just fine. And then I wanted to add a new blush to my collection. So a little indulgence for me. I'm really, in, I've really gotten into Charlotte Tilbury. I don't own any, everything from the, her collection yet, but I'm working on it. And one of the things I wanted was a new blush. Just, you know, my summer blushes are a lot more shimmery. There's a lot more coral, warm tones to them. I wanted something a little pinker, something to kind of mimic that flush of your cheek when you go outside and it's cold out, which I haven't quite experienced yet, if you can believe that or not. So I got this one. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher, and I got it in the shade First Love. And it's one of, if it's not the lightest shade, it's pretty close. So the idea behind this blush, and yes, I know what you're thinking, kind of looks like a boob, is you take your brush and you go around the edge and you put that all over your cheek and then you do this little darker shade, this accent shade right on the apples of your cheeks. You can do that. I tried to do that today or I just sometimes just blend it all together and make one shade. But it's really soft and it's, I went a little nuts as usual, um, but it's very soft, it's easily blendable. There's no real shimmer to it at all. Blush does not swatch well, but um, I love the compact. I just, I, I really like it. It's a very pretty blush. It's perfect for this time of year. You've actually seen me wear it in quite a few videos lately. I just don't know that I've listed it. And speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I added another, um, I already have one of these, This the Eyes to Mesmerize, her cream shadow. I've had it in the shade Marie Antoinette for a little while now, and I love it. And so I wanted to add another one because this time of year, especially when it's really cold out. I don't know, I get lazy with my makeup and I just wanna kinda of like slap something on, put on a hat and run out the door. So what I did today was I blended two of them and I only used my fingers really for this look. I picked up another one. This is in the shade Jean, which is more of like a champagne-y hits of pink in it, I'd say. And I just used my ring finger and I patted it all over my lid, kinda of up into the socket a little bit and just patting motions and it blends super easily right into the skin. Um, I've heard people mention or ask about creasing. I can't speak for everyone's skin type. I have dry skin. It just sort of sucks everything in. So I've not had any creasing. I don't 
always lay powders on top of it. So it works just fine for me once it's set. And then just to add a little dimension to the corners, I could have built this up to make it darker, but I didn't. I just took another finger and added Jean to, um, I literally just patted the outer corners and kind of just kept patting, patting, patting until it was blended in. And it's really a light, easy, everyday look like for running errands, which is what I'm gonna do today. A Little bit of eyeliner, a ton of mascara, and it's just a very, I think this is a very appropriate daytime look. You could obviously amp it up and build on it if you're going out later, but I think this is really nice for every day. And then the last thing that I picked up that I absolutely love, you know I love the Clinique um, Lip Color Pop. I can never remember, you'd think by now I love it so much, I know the name of this, but it is the Clinique Pop Lip Color Lipsticks. And I have I thought I had all the shades, but they came out with a new one fairly recently, I think, that I didn't own, and this is exactly the shade I was looking for in the collection, and this is Blush Pop. I have it on now. I'll slap on a little more. It's so, I love these lipsticks. They're, they're so creamy, they're so pigmented, they last a super long time because there's primer built in. It's a really good price point for a department store mascara. It's like $16 and change. Okay, I did pop in a cough drop. So right there, I'll try not to chomp on it while we're talking. Anyway, like I was saying, I love all of them, but I think this is just a perfect, it doesn't matter what time of year, this is just like your lips, but better. Really creamy, adds a little bit of color to my face. You're, you know, you don't even need a mirror to put it on. Okay, let's talk about this outfit before I stand up and show you the whole thing. I wanna tell you about these earrings. I love Kate Spade stud earrings. I have a bunch of them. You've seen me mention them fairly recently and years ago as well. These are so fun. They're not real, obviously. They're a double pearl, a big one, and then a little one underneath. I just like that it's a twist on a basic stud earring. It's, I think they're so cute. I've been wearing them nonstop since I got them. And, you know, they're great for every day, but they're very classic and elegant. You can definitely dress this up. My bra is showing. I apologize. Also a bra from Nordstrom. Not planned. Just is what it is. Anyway... I think they're so cute. I love them and they're fun. And they do come in other pearl colors, like more of a gray tone. I think there's like a blush tone, but this is just your classic white, let's call them faux pearls. And then <clears throat> this top, I'll show you in full length, but just to tell you about it, it is from the Gibson line. I love Gibson. I have a bunch of Gibson shirts. Their fleece is just gorgeous. I don't know if it's still available, but they just released a holiday collection with a ton of bloggers. Some of them are my actual friends. They're beautiful pieces. I will list those below. But this one is a classic they bring out every year. It's like a three quarter length, maybe even bracelet length sleeve. Pretty lightweight fleece. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I really like this bright blue color. It reminds me of winter time, I don't know. And what I really love about it is the, the hem, the bottom of it. The front is just, it already comes with like a built in twist. So it's that perfect kind of high-low um, shape. And because it's this like really cozy fleece material, it's just great for just kind of bumming around, running errands, whatever, just day-to-day -day stuff. But it's also because of the way it drapes and the way it's the twisted hem. You wear these with a nice pair of pants and some heels. You can easily dress this up and all the different colors. They're so pretty for evening, for holidays, you know, more casual type party, gathering with friends. I actually just wore this out to dinner for our annual Friendsgiving um, I think a week ago, two weeks ago. So love this. I already have this in a couple other colors, but I was happy to add a bright color to my collection. And then let's talk about these pants. Okay, you know I love joggers. Like I am obsessed with these. I think these are the most flattering things that have ever been invented for women. And you can dress them up or dress them down. These are from the brand Bobo, another one that makes great fleece products. And I love the drawstring on these. These are fleece pants. I love them. Um, I love the pockets, obviously, the drawstring waist. They're great for travel. They're great for evening. They run a little bit big, so I actually size down in these. I'm really more of a true small size, but I'm wearing these in an extra small. And then I paired them to make this more casual with my new favorite find. I first jumped on the wedge sneaker train during the anniversary sale. I got the Caslon uh, wedge sneakers, which I think are sold out now or might only be available in a certain amount of limited sizes and colors. And I was kicking myself that I did not grab these in black because I really wanted a black pair, especially now I'm wearing a lot more darker colors. And then I saw these and I absolutely love them. I'm glad I didn't get the Caslon in black because I like that these are leather instead of the faux suede. They're a little sturdier. 
I like that they come up a little higher on the ankle, so you can definitely wear your basic no-show socks and they literally will not show. They are super comfortable. My feet are not officially wide, but they run to the wider side and there's plenty of room in them. I had read some reviews that they can run narrow, but I did not find that to be the case. However, I should mention that Nordstrom will um, for free stretch your shoes for you if you need them to be stretched in the toe box or make them a little wider. I've done that with a like all of my dress shoes and it just takes a few minutes and it's a free service and definitely recommend if you live near Nordstrom to bring them in to have that done. So that is my whole little cozy indulgence to myself. I'm so excited to take another warm bath and slather myself with all of this amber vanilla goodness. I just love exploring the stuff on the Nordstrom Beauty website because just I would have never found this if I hadn't been just scrolling through their new stuff. So I would love to hear from you. What do you recommend from Nordstrom? specifically in their beauty department, not just like actual makeup, but like the tools and products and different things that you can find there. They have some of the neatest stuff. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Nordstrom for continuing to want to partner with me to help me create these videos. It is always a pleasure and a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.